Hello, this is Gazelle 90s TK, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we made it to the Rock Tunnel, but you might be wondering why we're back here. Well, we're here for a couple of reasons. First reason is that if you remember this guy, well, we're just gonna go ahead and give him an Abra. Because, why not? I mean. Okie dokie then. Timidnet. That's not bad. Fast special attacker. Oh. Still has a terrible ability though. Very confusing. I'm just gonna go train him whenever I can. Go through here. And in here... ...is a guy who will give you HM5, which is Flash. Flash isn't exactly required, but it's really recommended. Really, really recommended. Yeah, I'm gonna cut away to make it. Yes, we're gonna get this Everstone just for the sake of completion. This Everstone is absolutely useless. No, not Bill's PC. I want my PC. I'm gonna deposit that little doodad into the PC. Right there. Alright, here we are in the Rock Tunnel! Pokemon you can find here are Machop. Now, Machop has perhaps the best physical attack stat of any Pokemon. Uh, it has a pretty good HP stat to back that up. It's got okay defense, but everything else is just absolutely terrible. If you want a fast physical attacker, Mankey's really what you want to go with, but Machop's okay too. Its ability Guts is an okay ability, not my particular favorite, but... You like the one you like. Next up we have Onyx. Now Onyx is... Freaking amazing in physical defense. Wow, that's 160, wow. Good nature and good IVs, that would be... Wow, I, good defensive wall there. Uh, unfortunately, its HP and attack and special stats are absolutely terrible. It's got good speed, just not good enough to back up anything it can actually do. Uh, its two abilities, Rockhead and Sturdy. Rockhead's okay. I prefer Sturdy because it's like Focus Sash, but, you know, without Focus Sash. It leaves you uh, a room for some items, an item that you can use, you know? It's a pretty good ability. I like it. Alright, welcome to Rock Tunnel! Yes, as you can see, it's quite dark here. 
And yeah, I did a little off-screen training here with with mining. Um, I replaced a few of his moves. I'm not the real substitute kind of guy, so I replaced substitute with magical leaf and reflect and light screen. Replaced uh, barrier and I forgot what light screen replaced. Not that it was dead. Not that it was that particularly. Actually surprised to find out that I now can learn both of these. Crow is useless, so he's gonna learn flash. This isn't exactly required to do, but I just like not being in the dark. item over here. It's a repel. Repels are good, I guess. This guy's required. Cubone. Now we'll get to Cubone later. Focus on Basically raises the chance of getting a critical hit. Slow poke. Uh, how can you have a slow poke? I mean, sure these days with the advantage of trick or my so I don't think trick rooms even existed in this third generation. Did, they didn't use it. Why does it seem like there's a hidden item here? Game Freak tricked me. Yeah, we'll get the HM for that later. Rock Smash. Did I didn't believe this guy is required? Another slow poke. Growl. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. You do that. A revive! A lot of required trainers in here. Ooh, Oddish. I can't play power up all this time, that's just cool. It's just not right. It's still super effective though. Well. Oh well. Please tell me this guy isn't required. Yay, he's not required. Why does there seem like there's a hidden item in these spots? Thought oh, Pokemon Encounter 8 just threw the roof in this dungeon or what? Either way, you had to fight a hiker, so... Might as well fight one of them.
Ooh, my attack range. That's good. Cool. That's cool. That's good. Not complaining. Oh, Rose again. Ah, that's a. It's kind of overkill. Ooh, speed goes low. Dang straight, I'm a better tech. No duh. Why does it really seem like there's hidden items all over here? This really looks like the last one. And he's required! It also proves that I'm not. I want to check something. Okay, so it doesn't always raise it. I thought of that way. I might have been why I kept getting it. This is like the third time I've got it now. Not to say that. Just getting really lucky, I guess. This room is useless until we get rocks back. Seems like there's an, a, a hidden item around here too. There is, I don't know where it is. Probably required. Yep. So, yeah, pretty much just basic Pokemon. That battle was pretty boring. That's a trap just waiting to happen. Max Ether! Very rare, those. So many required trainers. So. I might cut some.
Ha ha ha! Metal Gear. Solid Snake. Required? No. Required? No. Pearl, you can sell those in the shops. So many required trainers. Thank you, God. It's something over here, isn't it? Nothing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Route 10. The other side. I'm just gonna make a beeline for Lavender Town. Woohoo! Gonna heal. Let me try and get some information. Alright, here we are in the Lavender Town. Actually, I do believe in ghosts. My trigger finger just was on the B button. That's uh, Mr. Fuji's house there. This is the Lavender Town. Yeah. The Pokemon Tower. I'll be doing bios for this place way later. When we have to come back. Pokemon Tower. <gasps> yeah. There's no way around it. Bring it on, Gary. I have a Charizard now, Gary. I'm not afraid of you. He's got Flamethrower. He could waste your whole team. Great. 
just great. Please tell me this is gonna work. Yay, it worked. This is going to be a one. No matter what attack I pick. So let's go for the more overkill one. Kodabra. Yeah, his abras. I think it was evolved last time. Except now it's even more dangerous. What, you stinker? When did you become Bugs Bunny? Bugs Bunny's more popular than you. You jerk. Thinking you're Bugs Bunny. Alright, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. On the next episode, we're gonna go to Celadon City. Good times. They will be had. Good night, everybody.